I get a lot of messages and comments on my videos about whether or not you should pay a charge off or a collection that's on your credit. So this is not one of those credit hack videos that credit repair companies try to give you about how you know you can you know do all of these things to get over on the system and try to get it off of your credit or pay them a lot of money to do it. This is a video about you thinking through what you should do with your um, your collections that are on your credit, whether you should leave them there and not do anything or whether you should try to attempt to try to get them off should you pay them off all of that this is just kind of let's think it through and then you make a decision as to what you think is best for you this video is about that so I'm going to give you a list of three things to think about and then five action items you can take after that. So the first thing that I want to make you aware of is that typically when your debt goes to collections, meaning the first company that you originally owed the debt to charged it off, they feel like they're not going to get it from you. And then they turn it over to an inside collection agency to try to get the debt, or a lot of people use outside collection agencies to try to get that debt. Just know that number one, your credit was already harmed the most with those late or missing payments. When you did not make those payments, like one missed payment could result in 60 or 80 points. Um, you know, the lower your credit score is, or usually the higher your credit score is, the more impact it's going to make, make. But one late payment could drop your score 60 to 80 points. So if you have multiple late, late payments, 30 day late, 60 day late, 90 day late, you already have gotten the, the most impact just from paying late. It wasn't the fact that it went into collections. It was that you paid that that credit late in the first place, or you did not pay at all, right? So you had a 30 day late, a 60 day late, a 90 day late. And so that really is what hurts your credit. All of those missing payments that you did not pay. That's where your credit score really, really went down. So it's not that it's in collections. It's not that it's charged off. That kind of just makes it worse. But initially when you started missing those payments, that's when you had the the really the impact of your on your credit score. So paying it off doesn't necessarily fix anything. So if you were to pay your collection, it doesn't say, oh, all those late payments went away. All of those things are still on your credit. That's why it doesn't make sense or it's not going to necessarily just improve your credit score by paying off a collection. Because again, those late payments are still going to be there. Everything's still going to be there. It just might say paid on your, um, on your credit report now. So just be mindful of that. Paying off collection does not help your credit score in most instances, okay? So you're really trying to get it removed, like all the late payments removed, the collection removed, you wanna remove from your credit, and that's the way it's going to help it. But these are the three things I wanna make sure you're thinking about whether or not you should even bother to pay off the collection in the first place. Number one, is it impacting your ability to borrow? Uh, my channel focuses a lot on mortgages and buying a home. Is it impacting your ability to borrow? So a lot of lenders that I have and I've interviewed, $2,000. So if you have $2,000 or less in collections, they don't even care. So if you know you have less than that, they're not even looking at that as you know impacting your ability to borrow. So, and if your debt is old, like two years or older, then a lot of times that's not impacting you that much either. So it's really the more recent things that may be impacting you the most. So I, I recommend that you get a pre-approval. Even if you, you know, you're unsure if it's going to work or not, whether you'll get approved, that lender will be able to explain to you what you should focus on the most. Should you focus on those collections and try to do something about them? Or are they not impacting you that much? You shouldn't even worry about them. Number two, how old is it? Remember, two years or older is may not be impacting your credit as much as you think it is. And then after seven years, most debt is removed from your credit altogether. So between two to seven years after that, it's probably not um, impacting you as much as you think. And then lastly, the third thing I wanna make sure you're thinking about is, can the company sue you for the debt? Between five and I would say 25% of collection agencies may sue the person for the debt, but everybody doesn't get sued. And then in most states, there's a statute of limitations as to you know how 
can they come and sue you for the debt? So I'm going to link below the statute of limitations, like how many years they typically have before they no longer have the ability to sue you for the debt. And so based on the age of the debt and all of that, you can make a decision whether you should even bother, um, you know, thinking about this collection. Now, if you have decided that you need to do something about the collection or something, you know, something about the collection account, you're going to do these five things. Number one, you're going to ask them to validate the debt. They're required to give you this within five days of the first contacting you about this debt that you owe. They need to validate that it's your debt, that you owe the money when you borrowed it. They need to validate that debt. And I'll give you um, some information of how you can contact them and you know how they're required to validate that debt. Number two, you could dispute the debt. So you want to check things like the date of delinquency with the original creditor. Is it really your debt? Is the amount correct? You know, all of those things. If there are any errors in the debt, you could dispute it um, and they could have that removed from your credit report that way. Maybe it's not your debt. Maybe it's the wrong amount. Maybe it's the wrong date. They have to be really accurate in the in their credit reporting and what they're trying to collect from you. Again, I'm going to link below um, as to how you can dispute a debt especially disputing a debt that has errors. If you have a collection on your account that you've paid for previously, so you already paid it, but it's still on your credit, you can go back to that company and ask for a goodwill deletion of that debt because you've already paid it. So if you've already paid it, ask for a goodwill deletion and some companies may delete it from your credit. Not all the time, but they may. And then number four is a pay for delete. So if you have to address this collection, it's impacting your ability to borrow, for example, you want to make sure that if you pay it, they're going to delete it from your credit. Because again, if you know if you just pay it and you don't delete and they don't delete it, it's not really going to impact your credit favorably because all of those, you know, bad um, reporting of you paying late, not paying are already, and they're still going to be on your credit report. So be mindful of that. You want to pay for delete and you don't have to pay usually the full amount because the collection agency that has your debt now, say it was a hundred dollars, they may have paid $20 for that debt and they're trying to make any profit above that $20, above that $10, whatever they paid for it. They typically pay pennies on the dollar for that debt. So you're trying to give them something that you, you know, that's reasonable. You can negotiate and say, Hey, I'm willing to pay this amount. You want to get that amount um, you want to get everything from them in writing, they're going to agree to delete it from your credit report. You're going to get that in writing. And so if you do agree to pay for delete, you want to definitely negotiate a lower amount and you want to get it in writing before you agree to pay anything and do not give them direct access to your credit, your, to your account. So don't, don't do it like auto pay or, you know, a withdrawal you know, any kind of deposit like that's directly linked to your account because that you may agree on one amount and they take more amount out of your account. So a lot of these collection agencies cannot be trusted. So you want to make sure you do it where you're sending them a money order, you're sending them, um, you know, something that is not directly linked to your account. So, and again, get it in writing that they're going to delete it from your credit. I'll link below um, pay for delete and how that works. Okay. Now, if you feel like you're going to not pay the collection, you're just going to leave it on your credit. It's not impacting you that much. Make sure you're paying everything else on time. Okay. Because you want to try to build good habits. I did a video, a seven day plan on how you can, you know, fix your credit and get, get it where it needs to be. If you need some other things reporting positively, there are a lot of companies now that will um, allow you to add get credit for your rent payments that you're paying on time or your utility payments that you're paying on time. And I always like to you know, remind people, if you foreclosed on a house, so say that you foreclosed, you, you know, stop paying your mortgage. That's a major thing that you did. Um, you know, it's a big debt that you stop paying on and then they come back and get the house. 
pretty much your credit will be back to where it was prior. Say you're paying everything else on time within two to three years or less. They allow you to buy a house again after three years, typically. So, you know, don't stress that much about, you know, you have one collection, that sort of thing. Your credit will rebound typically. Think about the, you know, the foreclosure in about two years. If you did nothing, it would rebound in about two years, or it should, unless you're continuing to pay things late. That's when you're kind of in that cycle. But if you have like one thing going to collections, typically over time, it will matter less and less and have less impact on your scores. Um, so please go ahead and check out my seven day plan. Look below to um, anything that I talked about, goodwill deletions, pay for delete, um, how to you know make them validate the debt. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. I hope this was helpful and at least get you to be thinking about whether or not you know you need to pay for a collection. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.